Jackie. And I'm Jacqueline. Hello you guys, Vlogtober is here. We hope that you'll join in the fun. A vlog every day of the month just for you. That's my mom, it's us too. It's one of our favorite times. We're really trying to rhyme. A month of bats, ghosts, and black cats, but most of all pumpkins and... Oh, what rhymes with pumpkin? Bumpkin? Blocktober is here, Blocktober is here, Blocktober is here for you. Hi, Flickers! Hey guys! Happy Blocktober, you guys. Just wanted to say first before we get into the video, I know I always say this about the lighting in our videos, but I can never seem to get it just right. So we might look a little fluorescent, a little pink. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're like, like little baby hamsters. We look like pink. <laughs> I look really pink. You're pink. I know. You don't look as pink. Uh, maybe. So we are here to share with you guys the wonderful package that was sent to us by our sweet Flickr Aww. Barb. She is so sweet. Oh my goodness. And we actually met her and her daughter Charlotte at Disneyland quite a while ago yes, now. Yes, few years. Charlotte I think two was little. Three, I know. Little, yeah. I think two or three years ago now. They are the sweetest family. And her husband Clarence wasn't there when we met them that day. Right. But he right. says hello to in the sweet letter that she yes. put in the box. Yes. Yeah. She signed it with all their names. Yeah. And Barb was going through her stuff. She came across the stuff that she no longer, you know, wanted. Yeah. And Had a use for. I guess. She is so dang sweet, you guys. She thought of Jacqueline and I and and wrote us and asked if we would like it. And of course, you know, we didn't even ask what it was. We were like, yes, right? Because anything old. We love vintage. Yes. <laughs> Most of it is Disneyland stuff, you guys, but there are a couple things that she sent because she knows I love old stuff. And then she's so cute, you guys, Barb. She sent us snacks to go <gasps> with, because you need snacks like when you go through the stuff. It was so cute. That's but really we nice. didn't eat any of it because we wanted to try it right now. Yes. So, yes. So literally, so. like the whole family <laughs> have been like eyeing these snacks because they look really good. I know, and we had, we had everything in a bag like off And the I side. said, yeah. I know, and then I'm like, you guys can't try it yet because we gotta try it in the video. Exactly. So exactly. we didn't, we didn't try I know, it. I know. <laughs> I'll start off with these two first. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, you guys. So Barb said, this is so interesting. So she said that this is like Vancouver's like most popular, I guess, paper right. from 1976. You guys, look how fun this is. Yeah. Well, because first of all, they're from Canada. Yes. So that's yes. why it's from Vancouver. Right. This, right. This paper. And so this is just like a weekend magazine that I guess like probably came like in there, you know. Yeah, it looks so like vintage I know, it does, you guys. So it is cool. amazing. And I swear, and anything like this, you guys, you know, my era, the 70s, I love. <laughs> so she sent that, you guys, lots of neat stuff inside. Yeah. And then she sent me this homemaker's magazine from 1984. This one looks cool. Yeah. Ah, newly graduated just a few years before that. Mm -hmm. It's just the cutest little... It looks Christmassy. Yes. I it, do. It, well, I think it was December. Mm -hmm. It was. It was yeah. December. So it's basically, you guys, like a big magazine, just in smaller form. And what's cute, I don't know if Barb did this or not, Barb, if you're watching. Since it's December, there's all these recipes. And look at this, this makeup. Amazing. Aziza. I remember that brand. And look at the ad, too. Yes, and look at the ad with the peacock feathers. And, and that was an old brand of makeup way back mm. like in the 80s. Yes, it was. I remember okay. Aziza. I used to buy it. But what's cute is, Barb, let us know if you are the one who folded these papers mm -hmm. like of recipes. Oh, what is that? Heinz ketchup? <gasps> oh, it is. Oh, look. There's a little ad. But we think these pages are folded so the person that folded them would find, you know, these pages. The again, recipe, right? yes. So I'm like, thinking, whatever's on I'm it. Yeah. Barb did that. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. So let us That's know, a good Barb. Idea, though. But anyway, but thank you, Barb. You know how much I appreciate. That's how I am. Oh, I yeah. love these old magazines. And if you she guys does. have been with our channel, you know this is my hunt when I'm at the antique store. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she loves to just like sit on the couch, look at these. It's like a stress reliever for her. It is. It, and so. some of them are really gross that I buy. So like I, I clean them out, like shake them, and I even put them on yeah, the so old lap thing because some of them are really old. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, but Barb's were very clean. They were. Yes. I know. Look at how nice they I'm are. I'm not kidding. Yes. So the next little like section of the package, so fun. Yes. And remember, okay. the, this, this stuff is from Walt Disney World. So Barb kept a bag so this is from Walt Disney World there's the back and there's the front very 90s looking Barb, really now Barb said all this stuff is from the 90s so cute she even kept a napkin amazing and she sent it to us and she's so cute I know she's I was gonna say 
Right, it's unused, of course. <laughs> Look how cute that is. What I love is that, Barb, you're like me because that's something that I would do. I would, I keep old Disney bags. We have so many. They're mostly from the 60th anniversary. They are, so not old but ones. Not but really yeah. old. But I would keep like a napkin if it was cute, cutely decorated mm -hmm. and stuff. So I would do the same exact thing. What I have to show you is um, a one day park ticket. And I believe it's stamped 1995. You guys, $37 for a one day park ticket. So think about that price increase from 1995 to now. This was $37 for a day. Yep. A parking ticket, you guys, to park your car, $5. Amazing. <laughs> Next we have like some guide maps, um, some like pamphlets from resorts or like hotels. Right. And I think some of them actually are from Disneyland because they, they must have made a trip I here. I think a couple. This front one right yeah. here is from Disneyland. It's basically, it's like a map you'd get today right. but from the 90s. There's like an Indiana Jones themed one. You have um, like some vacation ones from Walt Disney World. And there's like so many different things inside of them. Um, here's another one from Disneyland, but it's a uh, Toontown on the front. Look at the little like ads that are in there. It's so funny. See, look, you, you could get your name badges back then. Like JCAD. See? That he lost at the park. This Same red name us. badge. Jake wore his one day. He got it so long ago from the park and it said Jake on it. It looked exactly like this, this red one. And it fell off, I guess, cause it was old. Like it fell off at the park. We had no idea where it went. No oh, one turned it in somebody, to... Somebody kept it. And, this, and, and the sad part is it had Jake's name on it. So the only thing I could think of is they thought it was like an employee badge and they wanted to keep it. But you guys, Jake was so upset. This was years and years and years ago. Every time we go to like an antique store or something, we always try to find that with the name Jake on it. Yes. But none of them have the name Jake because I guess it's like pretty unique. I don't know. And yep. none of them are red like this. Yes. So it's so sad. But they sold those for a long time, yeah. you guys. So we always even, I, I even go on eBay sometimes, like, and I try to find it, mm -hmm. you know, like to see if anybody's selling it. But oh, you guys. So Jacqueline, so remember, cute. I think, did you show them that pin? Jacqueline did no, track down this guy who makes these name badge pins. Of course, it's not the same at all, but. I know, anyway. but it kind of. It resembled it, it a little. It resembled so. it, yeah. And then this one's from um, 96, and then this was like one of the tickets that was there that like, I think like they stamped it, you know, every day that you went in. So that's what this is from. So Barb. I know, so cool. You kept such good stuff. I know. I'm not kidding. So this pamphlet is like, it says Southern California vacation on it. Like this is what it looks like. It has Indiana Jones. It looks similar to that other one that I just showed you. But this one inside, it's so cute. So basically it tells you like all the different things you can do that are around yes. Disneyland. Yes. So it's so neat. It's really cute. It's like a little map of like Southern California. Yeah, it's so neat. Yeah. So it has like Knott's Berry Farms on there. And then on the back, it's all a two night Disneyland vacation starting from $116. <laughs> can you imagine? Literally that'd be like over a thousand dollars. Seriously. This is so neat, you guys. Uh, That's so cool. Barb, they, this was a long time ago. Um, in the 90s, they went to Knott's Berry Farm. And so Barb kept, um, oh my and I goodness. love this part. What's cute, if you guys look on here, at the very top, there was a parachute ride at, um, at Knott's. Knott's. I don't know if you guys remember that. So it's still on there, it's right there. Here's a map of Knott's Berry Farm, and it's so neat. You guys could pause it, you know, and then, like. I know, it's probably not focusing that great. closer, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. I know yeah. it's kind of hard to tell like if it's in the frame, but there's so many things on here that are not at not mm -hmm. spray farm anymore. So I love, love, love this one. Then Barb, I tell you girl. <laughs> so Barb kept this, you guys, and it is um, from South Coast Plaza. If you guys don't know, South Coast Plaza is a huge mall in uh, Costa Mesa. It's gorgeous, you guys. Oh, so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. They decorate it for the holidays. Yes. You know, with lights and stuff. Yes. Decoration, so it looks really pretty. And a lot of tourists go there because they have these expensive designer shops and like one of them's Louis Vuitton. I don't know why, I mean, I don't know, I don't, I don't think know. they're any cheaper, but maybe they don't have them back where like they live. Yeah, I don't know. This is so cool. Look at all the stores 
and South Coast Plaza. So it tells you all the <laughs> stuff like, that was there. So it's so funny. So when we saw this in the bag, we were like, oh, we got so excited. We were like, oh my gosh, let's see. Like now we get to see what was there yes. in the 90s. You know? and, and I love looking at it, you guys, because I'm like, oh, that's not there anymore. Oh, so uh, it's so it's so neat, you guys. So that's what the front of it looks like. I didn't even show the front of that one. Oh yeah. Um, so it just says South Coast yeah. Plaza. So yeah, it's so, so fun. So Barb, I love looking at that because of course, you know, we've been there so many times and one of the best places you guys that is in here but that's not there anymore is I, I think it was gone by the time you were born Jacqueline I can't remember I it was called the magic pan let me know if you guys remember that restaurant it was a crepe place oh it was good. so delicious you guys sweet crepe savory crepes if you look it up you could still find the old menus from the magic pan they were so delicious you guys best split pea soup in the world so Sounds good. that brought brought back good memories Ooh. when I when I looked at that okay so then in that same bag we're still we're still on the bag there were a lot of goodies in <laughs> there, there were a lot of goodies there were. In there. yes so then there's a Disney dollar in the envelope still all right so you open it up take it out look at this <laughs> look at this we don't have one that looks like this I think ours has um, splash mountain on it I can't or remember what's on ours yeah I can't remember we have like what is it a one dollar bill I think. Or five dollars. I think only the one. It's so cute, and it like even like it looks '90s. The colors that are on it. You kept that in such good shape. I know. Barb. Look at this. Look how good it looks. Still, it looks brand new. Barb, thank you so much for yeah, that. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, we have two more things to show you, but let's. We're gonna try a couple of the snacks Barb gave. So I'll let Jacqueline show the other snacks. Oh, but yes. you guys, this candy Barb did not know. This candy is my jam. I it first is. discovered it at. Um, Home goods. Mm -hmm. It's an Italian candy. It's like a white nougat. Yeah. And it's sometimes it's really soft. Sometimes it's a little chewier. It has almonds in it. Sometimes pistachios. Barb sent this. You guys. Barb. There are the little nougats, the white with the nuts, but they're different flavors. And I have never ever seen. These different different flavored, flavored ones. And in fact, yeah. you guys, I have a box of these in the cupboard from Trader Joe's. I know. It, try them. I think they carry them year-round now. And they're in the okay. candy section. So we're going to try these. What flavor do you want to try? Oh, my gosh. So there's orange, yes, sea salt, okay. caramel, cranberry, maple, and all. Oh, so like regular almond. Oh, okay. So not only is it in I a resealable that. bag. I know. They're individually wrapped, too. How cute that is, you guys. All right. So we'll try the orange flavored one. Okay. It's really good, you guys. Mm, Ooh, I like that orange flavor. Me too. Mm, it's really good. Mm, delicious. It's like Ooh, orange cream circle. Maple. So then we have Pockies. And we love Pockies. I love we Pockies. actually just got some. But these are tiramisu flavored, I think. Yeah. So we'll it, try well, those too. It says too. coffee and cream, but then oh, down coffee. there it shows a picture of tiramisu. It does look like that. <laughs> so you said tira. I say tiramisu. Tiramisu. What did I say? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Yeah. Another cute packaging. That is cute. <laughs> Another cute packaging. Because you know when you open up a box, you guys, and <gasps> oh look how oh my gosh, look how adorable. Okay, it has three packages in it. Oh my gosh, and yeah, then let you show that. And then so like cute. four pockies in each one, but they're like little mini pockies. Oh, this is nice. Look how cute that is. Ooh, these are thick, you guys. They are. This is the thickest pocky I've ever There's, seen. I bet you when you bite it, it's gonna okay. be a layer. But I'm scared. I'm scared. What do I hold it over? Your other hand, hand, honey. You stick the whole thing in your mouth. Mm. Oh, it smells like coffee when you put it by your oh, mouth. Oh, really good. Oh, it definitely tastes like coffee, mm. but not too strong mm. of a flavor. Mm. It's like really good. It's really Ooh, good. It's so guys. creamy. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Barb, mm. good choices. No, I'm not kidding. That's really good, you guys. Really good. And it's not too strong, the coffee taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, I love coffee. Jacqueline's not crazy about coffee, but I'd say that's Once a Once in nice a while, I'll have one. You know. Mild taste. This is so interesting, you guys. All right, we'll break up the desserts with a savory right. snack. Okay, so this is chicken wing flavor. I'm so excited to try this. And they're like crispy chips. Like, I don't know what they're going to be like. Yeah. Like, like, literally chicken wings are in the background. You can see them. Um, it says instant noodle snack. Oh. Does it smell like chicken wings? You know what? It smells like soy sauce. It smells like if you have, like, rice and you put, like, some, yeah, like soy sauce, soy on, sauce it. on it. Okay. Okay. These are going to be fun to try. Can you get me one, too? Yeah, sure. I'll give you one. Oh, you guys. First of all, it looks like a noodle. Whoa, look at this. Hold oh, my on. gosh. Wow. Look wow. at that. They're actually 
actually like really thin. I thought that they were so cool. I thought they were gonna be like some thick oh, like. It smells so good. I don't you know. Guys. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. They're really good. Those are delicious. You know what? These Ooh, would be so good. I like the texture. Dipped in sour cream. Mm. These are some. delicious, you guys. So it's kind of like, well, you know what? What should I compare it? Like a cheese it Like those groove cheeses? It, it tastes a little bit like a barbecue chip. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, so good. And I would say. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Barb. Those are delicious. I would say the texture's like, um, yeah, you like, know what? like the texture cheeses. almost does seem like you're eating a noodle. Hmm. Kind of like a dried noodle. Like a dried noodle. Mm. Maybe, but not that hard. Mm. I've never in my life have seen these. Okay, we're so excited about these. And my brother Jake was literally looking at these and he's like, like he <laughs> wanted to eat them so bad. And I said, oh, I'm gonna eat them. Yep, gotta wait. These look so delicious. They're peach mint Kit Kats. What have you ever seen peach mint Kit Kats? And look at the I picture know. of it. It looks so good. But peach and mint. That sounds like a really, a really good, a ball of grilly. A really good grombo. <laughs> Individually wrapped again. I think that's really smart when they do that because then you don't have to like eat them all at once. It is. Okay, so there it is. So cute. So it's like two little mini Kit Kats. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we gotta break them in half. Oh yeah. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Oh, we both went up because it was too low. <laughs> oh, good God. Wow! What an unexpected what taste the heck? sensation. Ooh! I wasn't expecting mm. that. Mm. Wow! Mm. It's like so refreshing. It's not too sweet. Yeah, it's mm. not too sweet. But oh my gosh, you guys. Mm. That is so minty. Mm. It is. It's like I'm eating like a junior mint and some peachy. peachy. No, I'm not kidding. Uh. Both flavors are so strong. I've never tasted anything like that before. Mm. I agree. That's like really like good. It. Barb, thank you so I know, much. Thank these you so are much. So delicious. Jake and Jerry are gonna Ooh. love trying these. Yes. And you know, just keep I was honestly gonna too. have another one. I need a savory snack. I now. have a savory snack. We do. Now. I'm not kidding. I love these things. These are so good. I gotta find these now. <laughs> and also, so cute. She put some notes on each item, like kind of explaining what it is. Just yeah, so, like, it's real know. cute little post. Yeah, yeah, it's a real really sweet. Cute. On this post it, it says two unopened vintage Disney records. Barb, these are in such beautiful condition. Yeah. I'm not kidding you and guys. And in the plastic. These are gorgeous. They are so clean, so beautiful. Look at look at these two albums, you guys, that Barb sent us. So Sleeping Beauty. What like pretty covers they are, too. I know, they're gorgeous. I mean, yeah, look at that. They really are. Here's the mm -hmm. back. Got some stills from the movie. And look at the little fairy godmother. I know that, oh my gosh, I love the fairy godmothers. You guys. They're so oh cute. Oh my gosh. Then we have an Alice in Wonderland record. And we just went to that Alice in Wonderland themed room. Yes. At Rogers Gardens. That yes. was our first day of Vlogtober. Yes, in case Malice in Wonderland. Malice in Wonderland. This is Alice in Wonderland. So exciting. Again, on the back, some stills. And it says all the, you know, all the songs, of course. They're listed down there. So amazing. And Barb, really, I, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. I mean, these yeah. these albums are so amazing, Barb, really. And they're they're in such good condition. And we will appreciate them forever, yes. you guys. Yes, and Barb. thank you so much, Barb. We appreciate it so, so much. Thank you so much for taking the time to put this whole package together. It really means a lot to us. And um, we like making videos like these just to like show our appreciation for the things that we get. Well, if because, we get it. Yeah, and yeah. because we know you guys that for all of our Disney fellow fans out there that you guys would love to see, you know, all this stuff. And, and so really Barb, that meant a lot to us that you put it all together, you put your little notes and you sent it all the way. I know, such a far home. way away. Of Canada, yeah. really, really, Barb. That means so much to us. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Barb. Hugs to you and to Clarence Yay. and to Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. We hope we see you guys again real soon. Yes. Um, and yeah, and I think too, I, I think we have a couple other uh, pieces of mail, like um, cards. So in case like we haven't shown those yet, stay tuned, like for those people. Yes. Just so you know, I, I think we were getting a little like behind on showing some things that got sent to us. So. Yes. But we did get them 
so don't worry. So anyway, Barb, thank you so much again. And we know that you got our card already. Thank right. you for the gift. But we just like to reiterate the fact. The because th the, the thank you. <laughs> the fact of our thankfulness. That's right. <laughs> because we're thankful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up, you guys. I better do it this way because my unmanicured thumbs. <laughs> I know before the video, I'm like, oh man, Jack, I gotta manicure my nails. I got gray hair, and Jack was like, ah, it's okay, mom. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and I think I was talking for like a really long time with, with nuts in, in my mouth. <laughs> Wait, they got all stuck. Oh, the nuts and the, from the nougat. nougat. We'll see you guys tomorrow.